Hello everyone. So, this is not really a tutorial for this, more of a... I have no idea. But a lot of you, since I do game making and modelling, have said, check out Make Human. And I, uh, my first honest thoughts was, it's probably just going to be another package, I don't really want to use it. It's probably cost, all that stuff. But then I looked more into it, and it's actually really, really good. And, um, yeah, so, excuse the nudity on the front, I... It's a model, get used to it. But yeah, so first thing you get when you load it up is this is an alpha release. Basically, alpha means it's like they've finished coding it, they've tested bits of it, then they've put it out. It is nowhere near completely bug free or anything like that. They're still adding to it and there's a lot of things they want to do, stuff like that. So just click OK. Now the basic controls is if you use your left mouse, you can drag around and rotate. So as you can see, we have a nude female. And then if you zoom in, you can zoom, it's, you zoom forwards to zoom out and zoom backwards to zoom in. But if you press it, you can just drag. And then you use your left one to move your camera around. So as you can see, I can zoom really into her head and look at her face. There, as you can see. So there's her face. And as you can see already, it's really good detail. You can see every single eyelash as well. And I'm not going to zoom in anymore. So... The first thing we've got is gender. So we can switch this, because we're on macro, modeling, macro, gender. We can switch it. And you'll see that it'll change depending. So now I'm fully woman. Well, I'm not. I'm a boy. I'm a man. But this woman is fully woman look. But then if I drag it to the other side, she'll turn into a male. So you can see we now have a male with a woman's area. But still, a woman's hair. But it, you can control it. And you can put it like midway so you like getting manly looking females and stuff. And that you that. So I'm going to make a man because it's easier. So you get age. If I turn it down, you can see we have a small little boy. Yes. And if I turn it all the way up, we end up having an older man. So if you put it midway, you get a semi one. Tone is not the colour of your skin. I don't actually think you can do texturing in this. I think this is just for the model. But I haven't explored everything yet. So if I drag it down, tone is your body shape. So you, when you hear people say you are well toned, it means you've got muscle kind of thing. So if I drag it all the way down, he's got hardly any muscle. He's, he's not flabby, but he's just nothing. But if I turn it up, you'll see he gains muscles. He's strong. He looks like he works out. So he's toned. You can see he has a six pack coming on as well, as you can see there and there and there. So... If I turn weight onto nothing, he becomes skinny. She's not super skinny, but he is skinny. But then if I turn it all the way up, it becomes fatty. But the thing is, he looks more muscle than fat right there. So if I turn it down, he looks flab. So as you can see, you can pretty much already there do way much more than you could with my standard models if you've seen them. So I'm going to make him quite heavy so he looks like he works out his muscly. So I'm going to turn height all the way down. And you does what you think, so we've now got a dwarf with like legs. And then we turn it all the way up and we get a really, really tall person. So as you can see, this program is amazing. It's really, really good. So Afro, this is the looks of them. I'm not a hundred percent sure about this. First time I saw it, I thought it was hair too, but it's not. I'm guessing it's what region you're from, so it plays with it. Like if I turn Asian up, it makes him look more Asian kind of thing. Yeah. So yeah, but then you can go through every single one of these and there's a lot of features. So if I go to macro and we've got different ones so we can grab things like this. So say if I want to grab his nipple, this because it's the easiest one to show, then I can pull it out. And if I grab it and pull it out again, you can see you can literally pull anything out and you play with anything. As you can see, you play with absolutely anything you want to. There is no stopping. You can scale things up, symmetry on, do anything. So already there, you've got a lot of features. Down below, I didn't explain it, you've got view settings. These are just like show wireframe, smooth it out, show your background, stuff like that. I, don't, I, don't, I haven't really used them when I since I've used them. But yeah, and then the other side, you've just got the basic undo, face cam. So global shows you everything. Face cam shows you the face. So as you can see, you can't grab their eyes, but... If I were to like lift the nose up and then pull it from the side, make him look like he's got a piggy nose, drag his ear out, which looks really weird. But you can see you can do loads of things. Drag his head up. Oh, that looks cool. There's an alien now. But yeah, so, and then all you do is simply just drag it out again and it fixes it. 
So, if I go back to Global Cam, there, as you can see, we've got a very weird looking thing, and we've only dragged a couple of things. But then if we go to Torso, you see we get even more settings. So at the moment, up on Category, we're on Torso, which is his upper body. You've got settings over here, so if I go to the side view, uh, there we are, and then start, look at his nipple, that's funny. But if I start dragging this slider to one side, you'll see that his stomach and his top part goes up and down. And then if you look at the yellow lines, it shows in which direction they go up. And then I can just literally move it whichever way and it sorts it out. And then you can do the same if you click hip. You also get the exact same options but for the hip. So you can customise his entire body. You've got a stomach so you can pull his stomach in, his buttocks. Um, if you don't know what that is, that's basically his butt, his behind. So as you can see, I drag it out. Oh dear, look at that. Let's keep it like because that's hilarious. So, yeah, there you go. You can make a really, really weird guy or thing. But yeah, so, oh, he's a pregnant guy now. Actually, it looks like a hippopotamus from the front. That's funny. But yeah, you've got face, arms and legs, gender you can go in on. Now, here's something. I don't know if it's technically illegal that they can do this, but you can actually create a child with both genitalia. But yeah, so if I drag genitalia one way, you'll see he gains nothing. But if I drag it the other way, he will slowly gain a thing. Yes, because that's awkward. But you can do both, so just in case for you who's wanting to see it, you have to mess with the macro settings and everything, and then you can make him have whatever you want, but I'm just going to put it to the middle. And yes, if you're wondering, for those people who are, who just want, yes, he does have a thing. Yes, very awkward. So, we've got more asymmetry, which is, it's literally copies it so if you mess with one uh, where's my face cam one eyebrow it will symmetrize them so as you can see put them together or make them different they're just pretty much face shapes you've got random which is always cool so if i drag that out and then drag it out you click macro or height so does it random them and click create new it'll randomize them completely different so as you can see we now have a small thing i don't know what to call it boy or girl but yes, we've got a thing. So then you've got custom, which is, I don't think it really does anything yet. But hey, measure, you can talk, talk how thick the neck is. And then you can pick, like, upper arm, how thick it is. So you can prop and make them really, really good. So there's loads of things you can play with. And it symmetrizes it as well, if you're wondering. So torso, you've got loads. You can just do everything. So you've got background as well, which sets the background of it. I don't really play with that one. So let's move on to the next tab. Files, this is where you save it. So when you save it, so I'll just call this Mangirl, because I have no idea. And then when you click save, it saves it into your documents folder. So if you go into your documents folder, I don't think this is available on a Mac. You're going to make human folder, and you, then you've got backgrounds, custom. If you go into models, that's where your man is. So obviously I made one before. There's the one I experimented with this from, the default one. Then we have our man girl that one so as you can see the faces are quite alike but it's different at the same time so if you want to export it you go files export and you'll have a couple there i haven't actually exported it because i didn't see how 3ds max but by looking at skeleton i am guessing that it also exports it with bones you can quote me on that below if you want and say whether it is or not but if it can it's brilliant because that's really good library it shows custom backgrounds if you want to put a custom one in posing you can pretty much play with the face so if i go face cam you can like make their eyebrow down so as you can see his eyebrow moves down you can lift it up and you can just play with different things to make him look like he's doing stuff so compression oh my god yes you can just keep doing that rendering is still experimental you saw it pop up let's see if we can get it again Experimental feature, aka may throw a lot of bugs if you do. I'm not going to play with that, I don't really want to render it. Settings, you can just pick whatever you want your cursor to look like, pretty much. Oh, sensor. Oh, let's have a look what sensor does. That'll always be cool. But yeah, so this program is really, really, really... Oh, that's quite good actually, I like that. 
But yeah, so that I could do something. I wish I'd have known that at the beginning of the tutorial. But yeah, you've got lots of different settings you can play with, mouse, shortcut settings, stuff like that. Really good. Help if you want a quick manual and then exit. So this program I am definitely going to use and I do recommend even though I've hardly used it. Because it is looking very good. Very, very promising. And it's open source and completely free. So take it. Please they are not paying me to advertise this if you do think that. Please give it a go. It is really, really good. Thank you to whoever ever made it. It is a brilliant idea and a brilliant program. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.